everybody, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com and this is the Simmon Kids Tour Buggy. Now, there's not a lot of information out about this stroller. It is new, um, so we kind of wanted to get, give you an in-depth look at what you can expect when looking at the Simmon Kids Buggy. Now, if you are looking for a stroller that is packed with features, those luxury features you're looking for, but you don't want to second mortgage your house just to get one, this stroller might just be it because it is a budget-friendly stroller that has all of those luxury features that we all want. Okay, let's start with the seat. Now, the seat, first and foremost, the seat is made of a memory foam where the child's butt, their back, everything goes so it's nice and comfortable. This is going to be one of the most comfortable seats they're going to fit in because of that memory foam. Now, it comes with a five-point padded harness. It is adjustable in two positions for the height. It has a hard to do buckle, for um, hard for the toddlers but easy for mom. It comes with a baby bumper bar that is removable and what I love is it's made of the same fabric, the canvas, that the seat is made of. So uh, my little chewers aren't going to, you know, take a bite of this bumper bar because, you know, it's not that foam that I'm not really fond of. Now, the seat. It is a short seat back. Let me give you the dimensions. First, we have um, right where the child's bum goes. That is eight inches from here all the way to the back of the seat. And where, I'm going to call it a leg drop, from the front of the seat to where the end of the foot rests, that is 10 inches. Now this is where the, short, the seat's going to get short. It's the seat back. The seat back, it's only 16 inches from the back of the seat to the top of the seat. And it's still a short measurement from the back of the seat to the top of the canopy of 20 inches. So this is going to be a smaller seat. Um, it holds up to 45 pounds. Here is our two and a half year old. He fits comfortably. Um, our four year old toward the weight capacity isn't going to fit without hitting the canopy. Again, four year olds aren't going to ride anyway. So this is a good stroller from newborn all the way up to about three years old. Now it has a recline. It has a really great recline and it's one handed, which I love. All you have to do is press this button and it goes back into three positions. That's upright, halfway back and all the way back flat. So this is going to be good for a newborn. Now the best part of the seat is that it, the seat transforms into a bassinet to turn it into a rolling pram. So you don't need to store an additional bassinet. And it's really, really easy to do. There are buckles underneath here. All you have to do is unbuckle it and the seat is going to drop down in the front. And you do the exact same thing in the front. There are two buckles here. You let go one and you let go the other. And that drops it down into a roomy, deep bassinet. And this is great for a newborn. It keeps your five-point harness so you can still strap your baby in. But it just gives that pram feel to it, which I absolutely love. And even better, the seat reverses. So this is a budget-friendly stro stroller that is going to allow your child to face parent or face out at the world as they grow. Now to reverse the seat, very easy to do. There's two buttons on either side. You just press those in, lift up very easily, and swing it around and put it right back in like that. So I like the fact that it has a reversible seat. Now I also wanted to tell you that the leg rest is adjustable. It could be a calf rest, leg rest, whatever you'd like to call it. It has four positions all the way down and all the way up to for the smaller babies. Now let's talk about the wheels. These front wheels are seven inch wheels. They rotate 360 degrees, they're swivel wheels but they have the ability to lock straight for a bit rougher train. And they are really easy to lock straight. All you have to do, you see that button right there, you push it in, it pops down, that locks it. All you gotta do is lift it back up and that's gonna let them rotate again. Now these rear wheels, these are 10 inch wheels. They um, both have suspension, so it's gonna give you all wheel suspension to you know absorb some of those bumps from your baby. It also has a one-touch brake bar. Step down on the red button to lock the wheels into place, step down on it again, and that's going to release them. So this one is a flip-flop friendly brake because you don't have to use the top of your foot. Okay, so we're down by the basket. You know what, I hesitate to call it a basket. This is my least favorite feature of the tour buggy because it's more a pouch or a small bag. Um, now, while it will hold a lot of loose baby essentials, you're not gonna get a diaper bag in this one. Um, just because it's quite small, it does um, Velcro shut, but it's more of a, a large pouch, I would say. Um, there's also more storage here. This is a parent pouch um, on the back for you know your keys, cell phone, things like that. 
Um, the stroller is missing. It doesn't have a cup holder, a baby tray, or a baby cup holder, just so you know. So let's talk about canopy on this stroller. The canopy, at first glance, seems a little bit small, but it does have a pop-out sun visor to give it more shade. Plus, you can unzip the back of it to allow it to extend farther forward, so it's going to make it even bigger. It, when you unzip it, it opens up a large mesh window. While it's not open to allow air to circulate through, it allows you to see in at your child to make sure there's, you know, nothing going on funny in that seat. And on the top, there's a second peekaboo window that unzips, which is kind of different. You could roll that back and secure that to see in at the top as well. So the canopy is a decent sized canopy, almost goes all the way to the baby bumper bar when it's extended. Now we have the handlebar. The handlebar, it's an extendable handlebar. It telescopes out. It's good for taller and shorter parents. Now all you have to do is push the button on the handlebar. This is as low as it goes and that's 38 inches from the ground to where I place my hands all the way up to 41 inches from the ground to where I place my hands. So it is good for taller parents. Now folding the tour buggy is very easy to do. Just make sure your lock is engaged. Put back your canopy and there are two gray levers on the inside that you need to lift up and the stroller folds down really, really easily. It locks down with an automatic lock, which I love. Plus, if you just adjust the footrest and everything else, um, it is kind of a compact package. It's a full-size stroller, so it does weigh a little over 26 pounds. So while it's not hard to get in and out of the trunk, it is your full-size stroller, like I said. You could, you know, to make it even more compact, you could pop off these front wheels, you could take off the baby bumper bar, but all in all, it's a you know, pretty compact package. Now, unfolding the stroller, very easy to do. All you have to do is unlock that automatic lock, pull up on the handlebar. As you step on the frame, that opens it up, make sure it locks tight, and you are ready to go. Now, overall, I really like the Sim and Kids Tour Buggy. Um, the only thing I'm not crazy about is the really short seat back, but most people don't carry their child around in a stroller over the age of three, so I think it'll work up till then, unless you have really, really tall kids. But the stroller, it's packed with all those luxury features, like, you know, the reversible seat, the memory foam in the seat, it even has a seat that turns into a bassinet, or an extendable handlebar, all great features that normally would cost you an arm and a leg, right? Not this one. This one retails for $289. It's one of the most budget-friendly strollers that gives you a reversible seat. So there you go. That is my look into the Simmons Kids Tour Buggy, and I'm Holly Schultz from BabyGizmo.com.